Good day, class. I am Sir Jasper, together with Ma'am Georgie, and we will be discussing about fact versus opinion. What is a fact? And what is an opinion? And what makes them different with each other? That's what you are going to find out later on. But before we begin, let us know first our objective for today. Hello, kids. I am Ma'am Georgie, and for today's lesson, we are going to determine the truthfulness and accuracy of the material viewed. So for today's discussion, learning is everywhere. There are various of internet platforms that we can access to gather the information we needed. But how do we guarantee that the information is right or just based on personal feelings and thoughts? We will emer with the emerging innovations, using technology nowadays, you can now have to access to all things you want to learn. But we need to be wise, you must have the ability to determine whether it is a fact or an opinion. But before we proceed to our discussion, let's have a mini game. This activity is called fact versus opinion. The mechanics is so easy. It will be I will be showing rather show statements on the screen and you are going to determine whether the given statement is a fact or an opinion. So for the statement number one, I think Anahau will be the next national flower. The answer is opinion. Next, for the statement number two, there are three stars in the Philippine flag that represent Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. What do you think the answer? So the answer is fact. For statement number three, if mobile games were not developed, the children nowadays will be more focused on their study. What do you think the answer? Obviously, it is an opinion. For statement number four, Dr. Jose Rizal is our national hero. What do you think the answer? Marvelous, it is a fact. And for the last statement, if Moreno can maintain his good standing as the city mayor of Manila, he could be the next president of the Philippines. What do you think the answer? Obviously, it is an opinion. Marvelous, students, great job. Now let's see if you can still differentiate the fact and opinion. Here's Sir Jasper to facilitate our next activity. Thank you, Ma'am Georgie. This next activity is called Guess It Right. This time, I will no longer show you statements, but a photo of different sources we use every day to gather information. All you have to do is to determine whether that particular source gives right or opinionated information. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. First photo is Facebook. If you answered right, then you are wrong. It's opinionated. Next photo, CNN. What's the answer? If you answered right, then you are correct. What about the third photo? Instagram. If you answered right, then you are wrong. It's opinionated. What about the next photo? If you answered opinionated, then you are correct. It's opinionated. What about Rappler. If you answered opinionated, then you are wrong. It's right. What about newspaper? If you answered right, then you are correct. It's obviously right. What about Deaf Ed Commons? If you answered right, then you are correct. And lastly, Google. If you answered right, then you are wrong. 
it's opinionated. Amazing! Can't believe that you guys have an idea already. But let's widen your thoughts and understanding to this matter. What is a fact? A fact is a statement that is consistent with reality or can be proven with evidence. It is a statement that is real or true or a thing that can be shown to be real or true. A fact is something that has really happened or is actually the case. The usual test for a statement of fact is whether it can be seen or true. Our cue here is real and true and can be proven with evidence. Here are some examples. The sun rises in the east. Obviously, it doesn't rise in the north, west, or south. Obviously, in the east. Next, the Philippine president is Rodrigo R. Duterte. The troposphere is the bottom layer of the atmosphere where clouds, rain, snow, and other weather phenomena occur. It can be proven. Manila is the nation is the capital city of the Philippines, which is correct and obvious one. Dr. Jose Pirizal is our national hero. We also have some examples. Let's examine example number one. Scientists around the world confirms that the Earth is now suffering to a more dangerous climate change. Our cue here is the word confirms, and it is proven by the scientists. What about example number two? Based on the statistics, 70% of the Earth's surface is the ocean, which is true and proven. And lastly, example number three, Sampaguita is the verified national flower of the Philippines. Now that we all know what a fact is, here's Miss Georgie to explain an opinion. Thank you, Sir Jasper. Now let's know what is an opinion. So an opinion is a personal judgment. It is an expression of someone's view or belief that is not demonstrable as a fact. So the cue here is view or belief. Opinions can be provided or provided useful information, but they should be supported by evidence. So below are the examples of an opinion statement. The salad is sweeter than the jelly. Her fashion style is on trend. Many lower-income families of the barrio manage to maintain a comfortable standard of living through the communal action of the family members who contribute their wages to the head of the family. I think dancing Zumba is better than jogging. And lastly, in my perspective, buying a brand new car using a credit card is not practical these days. So let's cite examples of the opinionated statement. So in my experience, boys is more naughtier than girls in school. So the cue here or the signal words here is my, is my experience. Example number two, in my opinion or in my point of view, mathematics is the hardest subject of all time. So the cue here is my point of view, correct? Example number three, is staying inside our house is better than going outside under the scorching sun. So the cue here is better as it was comparing. So let's learn about the signal words. So signal words are used to determine a statement it, or as, um, a fact or opinionated sentence or statement. So let's cite example of the signal words for fact. So the... So for number one, the new study confirms. So, so the signal words here is the confirm. Next is medical experts have recently discovered. Next, according to the results of the clinical trials, it is a fact based on the based on the according or based on the statistics the doctors demonstrated. So next, um, let's cite examples of the signal words for opinion. They claim that or they say it is the teacher's view as mentioned a while ago the cue in the opinionated statements are view or beliefs the debater argues and lastly many people suspect that and now we are done to, to our discussion let's see if you have learned something 
Let's answer the enhancement or the enrichment activity. I'll give you time to answer this. You may pause this video if needed more time to think. So are you ready, guys? Let's go. So for our enrichment activity, you need to read the text below carefully. Try to note down at least one statement of a fact and opinion. Is take your reason for identifying the statement as a fact or opinion. So um, the text here is many pesticides that are banned and well nations are shipped to Central America, often with disastrous results. Pesticides containers have safely instructions written in a language that farmers can't read. Some pesticides are so toxic that anyone applying them should wear a tightly sealed rubber suit and a respirator. Unfortunately, most farmers are too poor to afford any protection. Those who can afford the gear don't buy it because rubber suits are impractical in the tropics. So the fact statement in the text, pesticides containers have safely have safety instruction, rather, written in a language farmers can read. So as for the reason, as we all know, many of our farmers came from an impoverished community. Some of them have little educational background, instructions written at the back of containers, most, uh, mostly written in English language or other language which they cannot um, understand or find it difficult to understand. So for the opinionated statement, so the answer, some pesti pesticides rather are so toxic that anyone applying them should wear a tightly sealed rubber suit and a respirator. Reason, because it is implying something which a farmer should, um, should wear a rubber suit to be not intoxicated by the pesticide. Now for your homework. If you have internet connection at home, do activity letter A. Watch the video titled, What Does Education Mean to You? And determine whether it is a fact or opinionated and state your reason why. Just use the link or search the title on the YouTube platform. But in case that you don't have internet access at home, you may do letter B. Analyze the given infographic below and determine whether the picture states a fact or an opinion. Defend your answer by writing your explanation in the space provided below. Have you learned something? That ends our session for today. See you on our next lesson. Thank you and goodbye!